Hello, my name is Papa Ruxandra Denisa, but I prefer to go by the short Andra. I am 19 years old and I am applying for the three-year course and for the foundation course. I wish to train in the Axel School of Drama because I strongly believe it is the best choice for me and that it would really help me on this path that I've chosen. It took quite a lot of research, but after following the school's social media, checking the posts from the last few years to see everything that's going on there and get a taste of what everything might be and feel like and also viewing the virtual tours I knew right away that that is what I saw myself and I wanted to be and trained to be an actress. For the classical speech I chose Shakespeare, Stroilus and Cressida uh, precisely Cressida's monologue from Act 3, Scene 2, and for the other piece I chose Kelly Powell's and Turning Stay, precisely Amy's monologue. A moment from a film that really impacted me emotionally was the dog's death on Molly and me and pretty much everything that led up to that moment from the dog getting sick and going through surgery then at some point going outside to sit by himself um, one of the kids noticing and telling their mom that that is what dogs do when they know they're about to die all of that to Molly's death has just made me feel so sad and I cried my eyes out throughout the whole process and it had such a big impact on me that I just couldn't watch any other films involving dogs as leads ever since. Hard to see one, but I was one man with those glands that I was Pardon me, if I confess much, he will take the time. I love you now, but not so much, but I'm a master it. In faith, I lie. My thoughts are like unbridled children grown to headstrong for their mother. We fools. I have a blood. Who shall be true to us when we are so unsecret to ourselves? But thou, I loved you well. I would you not. And yet, good faith, I wished myself a man. Or oh, that we women have this privilege of speaking first. Sweet, bid me hold my tongue, for in this rapture I shall surely speak the thing I shall repent. See? See, your silence, cunning and dumbness from my weakness, draws my very soul of counsel. Stop my mouth. Don't you dare back away from me! And don't tell me you're sorry, and don't tell me to forget it, and don't you dare tell me to let it go. God knows I'd like to. I wish I could, but I can't. I can't forget that we had something and you're running away. You're running away? Don't you see, Mark? You're running from what I've searched for all my life. Why? Because you're scared? Well, I'm scared too, but... You and I, we have something worth fighting for. We can make it work. I'm not saying it would be easy, but I care about you. And I know deep down under this bravado, you care about me. And that's what it's all about, Mark. Don't you get it? It's the human experience. 
you can pretend all you want, but you're only lying to yourself. You're denying the simple and wonderful fact that you are emotional and vulnerable and alive. Can you honestly stand there and tell me that I mean nothing to you? That everything that happened that night was a lie? That you feel nothing? I feel sorry for you, Mark. <laughs> Go on. I'll find someone else. I'll be alright because I will know that I tried, that I did everything I could, but someday you will look back and you will realize what you threw away. You will look back always.